You gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This piece of shit burned my house down. He's gonna be back living here again? What the fuck? Oh, hey, fuck God you, dude. Damn it, dude. What are you doing? Fuck you. What, what are you living here again for? How did they rebuild they your house? You. They evicted you. That, nobody called, evicted me. It's called insurance, dick. Jesus Christ, and they made it as shitty as it was before. God damn it. And your car, too? Fuck me. I God. finally got my car all fixed. I thought you were dead. Didn't you die? I was in intensive care forever, asshole. Fuck you. Yeah, you should have died. Then don't, don't mm, have to deal with you anymore. Fuck you. Yeah? Fuck off. Fuck you. Go, go fix, go do something with your guitar like you always do, you prick. My, I lost my guitar in the house fire, dick. Good. Yeah, drive your shit box out of here. God damn it. Yeah, just fucking revving it. Yeah, keep revving it. Keep making noise to go back to the same shit you were doing before. God damn it. Really? Really? Need to enrich the mixture a little bit more. Really? You're never gonna get that thing to run right. It's pretty much ready for the track. Would you stop revving that goddamn thing? Hey. Hey. Would you shut that thing off? With your french fry exhaust coming out the back, would you just... Really? Really? Dude, get the fuck away from me! I'll kick yeah, your ass! Yeah, what are you ass. gonna do? I'll kick your ass like I did last time! Yeah? Get the fuck out of my yard, dude! You fucking asshole! Yeah, fix it again! You're used to fixing it, aren't you? You piece of shit! I'm supposed to be you here by myself, fucker. you're supposed to be in fucking... You're supposed to be dead! Oh, what, what, you're gonna hit me? Yeah, that's what I thought. God damn it. God damn it. You motherfucker. You're lucky Smash I'm not out my fucking window. You're lucky I'm not allowed to own weapons anymore. You bitch. 911. Yeah, I've got an asshole neighbor next door, and he just shattered my window out of my car. I didn't even know he lived here anymore. I'm at uh, 1035 Nyland Avenue. And there's some dickhead driving down the road, and he's got uh, uh, purple lights under his car driving by my house. He's a dickhead. He, he has, like, a, a green, like, jacket. He drives a motorcycle. He lives right next door to me at 1035. It, well, it's still 1035. I, I don't know where he went, but he, he was in my yard and he punched and he crashed my window out on the other side of my car. Hey. I got something just for you, you motherfucker. You son of a bitch. You motherfucker. Hey. Motherfucker. Fuck you. Come back here. Get out of that car. Come find me like a man. You fuck. Come on. Get I got the cops on your dumb ass. Get out of your car. You wanted to find me earlier, you won't find me now. Don't you you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. What, you just gonna keep running? You just gonna keep driving away? Fuck you, dude! You're an asshole! Fuck you! You son of a bitch. Get out of your car. The fuck out of your car. God damn it. Tit for tap, motherfucker.
Yeah? Yeah? What are you gonna do? Huh? <laughs> oh! Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I wish I could call 911 again, but I can't. They're taking so long to get here! You know what? Fuck you. Motherfucker. Fuck you, asshole! <laughs> oh, really? Really? You're gonna hit the fence? You look. You motherfucker. God damn it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna kill you. I am going to kill you. I'm gonna make sure you don't get out of the hospital. You fucking. God damn it. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck your fence up too, you prick. Oh. Hey. Officer. Hey, how's it going today, sir? Uh, look, man. I... I've had better days. My fucking neighbor is a... I don't know what his fucking deal is, dude. Is your neighbor Randy? Yeah. Randy fucking Newman. He's a piece of shit. I don't know how the fuck... His house burnt down. And I... I went out of town for a while. I came back into town. And it's back up. His house is back up. He's living so back next on? to me. We've had previous problems in the past where he's he's stolen my motorcycle before. And as you can tell tonight, he's hit it with his car. He rammed my fence down. And he's trying to run me over with his car. Yeah, he was saying you uh, busted up the windows on his vehicle. He was saying I did that? Yeah, that's what he said. He said you rammed your motorcycle into it. Why would I ram my motorcycle into a car? That seems ridiculous. Yeah, that, that's just what he said. But you said he, he messed with your bike? Yeah, he was over there in his driveway working on his car, revving the shit out of it like he does all the time. And then I went over there and I told him to be quiet because it's late and he's revving his car. Sounds like a damn rice rocket. And then all of a sudden, he gets in his car and he leaves his driveway and he comes and he starts to, he tries to run me down. And I was like, what the hell? And then he, he makes another pass. You can see all the tire marks. He makes another pass. He runs my, knocks my motorcycle over and then starts knocking my fence over. And I don't have a cell phone, so I couldn't call you guys. Okay, uh, what's your name, sir? My name's Greg Stevens. Okay, Greg, give me one second. I'll be right back with you, all right? All right, man. I'm just going to have a smoke. All right, I'm going to check out your bike real quick. All right. Yeah, he came by and ran it over with his car. He knocked it down. And then after that, he came back by again and started knocking my fence down. As you can see, he took this whole section down, and then he knocked that side over down, too. I don't know and what he, he did that with his vehicle. Yeah, he always does this. He what what he does, I've had problems with him in the past multiple times and what he does is he he goes in his driveway, he works on his car, he fucks something up and he's always hella loud so I tell him to be quiet and then he tries to blame me for the damages that he caused to his own car and then he calls the cops and says I done something. He always does this. Okay. Let me get in touch with the deputy that's talking to him around the corner. Uh, now, we ran your name. Do you have your weapon on you? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, cool. Uh, if you just want to hang out in front of my cruiser, just right here. You want to have another smoke, I'll be right back with you, okay? All right, man. You guys need to lock him up. He's a danger. He doesn't need to be yeah, out we'll here. We'll figure it out. 
You piece of shit. Fuck my neighbor. He's a piece of shit. Suck my prick. Hey, Greg, why don't you uh, come stand over here with Fucking me? dick. All right. See, he's over there trying to entice me again, standing by my fence. Yep, that's why we're moving. I'm telling you, man, he always does this. He always does this. So, what's All right. On? So, the story I got is uh, Greg here told Mr. Newman to be quiet. He was running the, the engine of the vehicle. Uh, Mr. Newman got pissed off, ran his car into the fence over here, and also hit. Uh, Mr. Stevens' uh, motorcycle. I'm not sure what story he told you, but this is the side I'm getting. Okay, well, tell you what, let me talk to you behind my vehicle over here. Motherfucker. Yeah, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, you're going down for this. Oh, am I? Oh, you're going down for this, yeah. I see you cross the way, yeah, just standing there in front uh, of the police car. He was out yeah, here do doing you? something. Oh, I do. He got into his yeah, car. Why don't you see was this? the engine, being super loud. It was night out. He told him to I be see quiet. Nothing. Yeah. And oh, yeah. Mr. There Newman it is. Yeah. 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 Fucking and asshole. Ran his, <laughs> into his fence, which you can see is not we, we both did a lot of illegal shit right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a he said, she said extravaganza. Oh, absolutely. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Uh, Hard to tell. Except there's a lot of evidence that you've fucked up. I uh, admitted Looks that like I uh, that off. I destroyed your mailbox. My mailbox? Yeah, no, you tore my whole fence down and knocked my motorcycle over. I didn't do anything like that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Alright. Where the fuck? Hey! Guys. He's... What the fuck is he doing? What are you doing? You may have burned my guitar, hey. but I still got Randy. acapella. Uh, fuck my neighbor. Randy. You're Randy. a piece of Back shit. Up. Greg, come with me. Fuck my God neighbor. Damn it, man. You're a fucking prick. He burned my guitar. I can't even write songs anymore. Fucking hopping fences to go say something. He's got he's got mental yeah, issues. Yeah, we saw him running away. We were getting another unit to try to find him, but I guess he just wanted to get you all riled up. That's all he does. That's what he lives for. So, we got pictures of your bike on the ground in the fence. Would you mind standing it up for me? I just want to get a better look at it. Since it's your vehicle, I don't want to mess with it. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Oh shit, it doesn't even start anymore. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god, your motorcycle's trashed. <sighs> You're gonna buy me a new bike, you prick. Just ignore him. <laughs> Just ignore him. <laughs> Ah, god damn it. How the fuck did his fence get knocked down? I didn't knock his fence down. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing some red paint on here. Yeah, man. I should have got a security system or something, but... I mean, shit, I can barely afford the rent, but... God, he just... He just lost his mind. I told him to keep it down. He was revving his car, and he just got in it. Came out of his yard and just ran it over. Well, it's definitely looking like your side of the story. <laughs> he, yeah, he's yeah, done. Looking hey. like what happened. Do you see any uh, paint on there? Yeah, there's definitely red paint on there. So <laughs> it's looking like Mr. Newman probably ran it over and hit the fence as well. Okay, well, from I mean, he Newman admitted to me. Uh, that he ran into the mailbox. Obviously, it looks like he, he I just asked him about the fence. He said that uh, it might have been collateral. Uh, so, Greg, obviously, he's saying one thing, you're saying another. Um, 
what was the initial interaction between you and him? I wasn't here. Oh, yeah, no problem. Um, so I was out on the porch having a smoke, and he was over there in his driveway working on his car, and then he got in and he just started revving it. Like, he was just bouncing it off the rev limiter, just revving it for just... It was like two minutes straight, and I went over there and I said, keep it down. And he started to get all mad and angry and telling me that, you know, I, I couldn't tell him what to do and all this stuff. And then I, to I told him, it's late. Keep it down. I'm about to go to bed. He gets in his car. He leaves his, he leaves his driveway, and he comes over, and he runs my bike over and takes half my fence down. And then he starts to try to hit me with his car. And I don't, I don't have a, a phone or anything like that, so I couldn't call you guys. So I was just running, trying to get away from him. So I ran back up to the porch, stayed up there for a while, and just tried to get out of the way. And then he, you could see all the tire tracks on the ground. He's been driving all around here trying to come by and hit me. Okay, so you said that he tried to run you over. Where were you standing when this happened? Well, when... I first talked to him, we were over by the fence between our two yards, and then as he drove out, I walked out, so I was standing right about where you're at, right there, and then uh, he started to come, his, his car started to come towards me, so I ran back inside, that's when he hit my motorcycle on the fence, and then after he did that, I, I was walking back down the street like, are you serious, you really just did that, and then as I did that, he had looped around this way, and then he came back and tried to, he was taking off going that way, and he, he tried to run me over. Uh, do you happen to have any uh, security cameras on your residence? No, unfortunately not. Okay, do you know if any of your neighbors across the street might have any? Uh, I doubt it, man. This is a pretty low income area. I know, but it's worth a chance. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't think so they obviously do. Obviously, this obviously this doesn't seem like it's a uh, an initial occurrence. Uh, what's the history between you guys? Oh, we, we've had multiple run-ins. Like, when I first moved in here, he was living here, and then we had this, the same exact issue. He's over there. He's always revving his engine. He's always making noise, like playing music and singing and just being real loud in the middle of the night. And I've always tried to tell him to keep it down, and every single time I do, he always tries to say that I've done something. He calls the police. He plays the victim. He's, he's done this multiple times, even though before in the past... He, he got arrested, he stole my motorcycle, and he got arrested for it. And I, I guess he just got out of the... And then the last time we had an interaction, he burnt his own house down, and then got out of ICU. He was in the hospital. I think he got hit by a car or something like that. I went out of town for a little while, and I came back, and they, they, they rebuilt his house already. And he's got his car back and everything. I don't... I don't know. It's just he's... We've, we've had multiple, multiple issues with each other, and when I came back, I didn't think he would still be living here because last I heard, his house was burnt down. Okay, so from what I can tell, and from everything I can tell here, um, obviously it looks like he was the aggressor in this, in this case. Um, he was trying to tell me that he jumped the fence and punched his window out. But what? looking at your hands and stuff, I don't, I don't see any. Hey, Randy, indication uh, that he punched any uh, car windows out. Yeah, no, I didn't. So what I'm yeah. thinking, <laughs> what I'm thinking is, uh, we'll probably be able to get him for uh, a couple different charges. But a big thing for you, uh, seeing as it's an ongoing issue, um, is would you want him trespass from your property? That way, if he ever came back on your property after we give him a trespass warning, we could just arrest him right then for trespassing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. I would love to do that. All right. I'll tell you, what, has, uh, have you given a, given a statement to this deputy here? Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I got told all the him, information. Yeah. Okay. Um, sounds like we're going to want to do a trespass warning for Randy. Um, that way, if Randy comes back on the property, then we can just respond out here and 10-15 him for uh, trespassing after warning. But uh, for right now, based on what it sounds like, it sounds like we've got aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, being in his motor vehicle. Um, and then, I mean, basically hit and run if he did collide with the motorcycle. I'm going to go check the front of his vehicle. Okay, I'll, I'll head over with you. Alright, uh, Greg, if you just want to stand by the front of our cars over there. Alright. Okay? No worries.
So, did he hit you at all with his vehicle? Oh, no. He never actually hit me. I, I was always able to get out of the way, but it, it sure as hell seemed like he was trying to. Okay, you, you would say that you were uh, in fear for your life? Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, uh, he was driving right at me, and it didn't, he didn't stop. I ran out of the way, and he kept going. I'm, I'm assuming if I didn't move, he would have hit me. So it looks like we'll be uh, we'll be taking them in today. But uh, if you just want to stand off to the side here, if we bring them over, uh, try not to say anything to them. If you said anything to you, just let it be, okay? All right. It's just words. Okay. Yeah. No, and, I, I won't. I won't uh, say anything. I'll have anything. a little more. I'll a little more paperwork to do once we secure them and stuff, and I'll get, be able to give you a little bit more information. But uh, just for right now, stand by. All right. All right, man. Well, I, I appreciate okay. it. I'm glad I'm going to be able Absolutely. to get a good if, night rest. If you want, you can stand on your porch. I know it's starting to rain. I don't want you to get just wet needlessly. Okay. Yeah, I'll hang out. Just let me know. I'll be around. Okay. What about, like, insurance and stuff, like, for my bike? Because it, it's not starting anymore. Well, I got his insurance information from his initial statement. Uh, he gave me his side of the story. So that'll be in the report. And when all this gets said and done, the insurance company will be able to draw the information out. And uh, you'll be able to file a claim. You should take care of it. Okay, perfect. Awesome. They'll probably send an investigator out and uh, talk with you, too. Okay. Yeah, awesome. All right. This is horse shit. <laughs> God damn it. And they confiscated my beer. God damn you. <laughs> this is horse fucking shit. And you know it. I knew you were going down. Oh, this, this is a is... great photo. How do you not have any cuts and scrapes on your hands? They never checked my hands. God damn it. <laughs> Aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Uh. That's some <laughs> fucked up shit. <laughs> this is bullshit, man. This is fucking bullshit. Fuck you, dude. No, I'm not gonna calm down. He fucking smashed out my window of my car. And then he comes after, he comes into my yard and starts all this shit. And now, now I'm in trouble. Okay. No one gives a shit about Randy. Fuck me. I don't care. Throw me away in prison. You're gonna fucking pay for this, dude. I swear to God. Yeah, real professional over there. Flip me off like that, you prick. <laughs> this is bullshit, man. <laughs> I'm gonna get fucking fired off this asshole, too. I swear to God. You know what? Tip for Taddy. You burned my house down once. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even understand how we get an assault in the whatever that even means. <laughs> I'm just defending myself. That's all it is. I'm a bullshit, motherfucker. You son of a fucking bitch. <laughs> how did you lie your way through that one? <laughs> Oh, God, it worked perfectly. Oh, I'm sure it did. Oh, man. Mr. Stevens, do you want us to call a tow truck for your bike? Get a mechanic out here? Oh, no, it's all right. I'll I'll uh, I'll just leave it, and I'll call the insurance, and they'll probably come out and want to take a look at it. Okay. So we are going to take him to jail. The uh, other deputy is going to come over here and give you some paperwork, all right? All right. Well, I, I, I told your partner I really appreciate it, man. Like... I, Finally, justice is served. Like he needs to get some mental help. Like he's there's something wrong with him, and I'm I'm glad I'll, I'm going to be able to get a good night rest. Yep, no problem. If you have any uh, issues in the future, whenever he gets out, just uh, give us a call. Yeah, I definitely will. I appreciate it. Uh, not a problem. Okay, Craig. Yeah. 
Okay, so here is a victim card, and it's got the case number written on the back there. Um, if you have any questions, you can call into the sheriff's office. Uh, the number on the front there is our business number between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. That'll go to someone at the at the office over here, either at this one or up in Polito. Um, if not, if it's after hours, it'll ring through the dispatch. But basically, if you need more information or something comes up, you need to add information to the case, you want to give the dispatcher that number, and then they'll have a deputy respond out OCA. Oh, okay. Awesome. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, based on the charges, um, he'll probably be held for a few days. Uh, the state attorney may reach out to you uh, for their own investigation, as well as a detective. But more on the okay. phone, that'll be down the line. Okay. Yeah, no problem. I'll, you guys know where to find me, so I got no problem helping. Are we, are we going to get a tow for your bike, or what's going on? No, I'm just going to leave it. I'll call the insurance, and they'll probably want to check on it. So I'm just going to leave it where it's at. I'll probably roll it into the yard. Okay. All right. Well, if you have any other further, further issues, if it's not an emergency, you can also call that phone number. But if not, remember, just call 911. Okay? All right, man. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Hope you have a better day. Yep. Thanks, guys. <laughs> You son of a bitch, man. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> and you're going to walk Scott fucking free. <laughs> and destroy my shit. <laughs> yep. Unbelievable. I bet, you when I, get, I bet you when I get back to the station, they're going to make me take a breathalyzer, too. Oh, probably. Which I only had uh, three beers in the course of a l pretty long time. So I'm not drunk. But Enjoy jail. Fuck you, dude. Fuck <laughs> you, you dickhead. They don't give a fuck. I guess whatever I did was way worse than what you did. Oh, so good. What did you say to get me to go to jail? Um, That you tried to run me down with your car. I didn't try to do that. That's what I said. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and they're going to believe you're dumbass. <laughs> but anyways, trying to run after me was you and your fucking bike. <laughs> Kicking my car. Well, the cop was like, uh, he was like, he's saying that you tried to hit his car with your bike. And I was like, why would I hit a car if I'm riding a motorcycle? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, that's right. You're kicking my car, too. I'm just whining to these two. I'm just whining <laughs> to them the whole time. <laughs> that was my car that just went down the road. Who's driving my car? Somebody driving my car. This my car went down the road. I think I was climbing, climbing up. I don't understand what's going on in this town. <laughs> you piece of fucking dog shit. <laughs> I guess I'm going to jail because I don't have that kind of money. Seventy thousand dollars. <laughs> Seventy great. Seven years in prison. <laughs> and I'm in jail. <laughs> so, yep. There you go. Seven years. Seven years in prison. 420 seconds. <laughs> Four God fucking damn it. Oh, God. Unbelievable. Yep. I told you you were going down. Yeah, well, I don't know how the fuck you managed to steal my car drive by <laughs> and no one saw it. What the fuck? <laughs> God damn. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. The cops came by. <laughs> you're at your house? Yeah, they're, they, they came by again. They're checking to see if your car is here. It's there, but it's been moved. Oh, shit. Oh, I hope they get your ass. 
Oh, yeah, they're checking. I'm gonna go. I was walking to the 24 7, but. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh oh. Uh, how's it going? We, uh. What's... Well, have you seen his car move at all? His. his Randy's car? Yeah. Nah. Okay, that's, that's what we figured. He was being dramatic, said his car got stolen, said he saw it driving. Oh, yeah. I, I bet he did. Like I said, he. He needs mental. He needs mental help, man. I've been out here. I've been. Unfortunately, the state, the state doesn't really provide that anymore. It's a unfortunate. Yeah. Thing. Well, that's that's what he needs, cause I mean I've been out here for a good amount of time, and no, his car his car is not moved. All right. Well, yeah, he'll be. Uh, I tried to advise him when we were in there that when he gets out, to not retaliate, but just keep an eye out. Um, if anything seems suspicious. Don't even go outside. Just call us. We'll come deal with it, even if it's just a noise complaint, okay? All right. Do you know how long before he, he could possibly, like, be out? So, he wasn't able to pay out, so he, he went to jail for seven years. Oh, shit. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, I... That's... It's... I don't... I wouldn't want that to happen to somebody, but... I mean, I, I can't say I'm not happy. Based based on how the court system is going to work and stuff, I mean, he won't it won't be seven years right now. If he'll be able to bond out and stuff, so right, you might expect him. You might expect to see him here in a couple hours. Um, best bet, just no interaction with him. Uh, I put the trespass warning in the system, so if he is back on your property, um, it should be in there. And uh, if he comes back on, if he's giving you issue, you can call us. He just stay inside your house, and we can come take him for trespassing. Awesome. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out. I'll see if I see him, and I'll let you guys know. Yeah, you may want to head over to the convenient and grab a uh, one of those cheap cell phones. That way, if he does anything crazy, you can give us a call. Yeah, I was just about to do that, and I saw you guys pull back up, so I figured I'd come and see what was going on. All right, Mr. Stevens. Have a good night, man. All right, you guys too. <laughs> they came by, and they are like, have you seen this, uh, have you seen this car move at all? And I was like, no. And they were like, oh yeah, he was being dramatic, saying somebody came by and stole his car and was driving it around. Fuck the <laughs> horn in front of the station. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that they came back to investigate it, too, to make sure that yep. that was the case. <laughs> oh, God. That's good. Motherfucker. 